Pizza and Taco Bell. What goes together better? I'll tell you what, a Mexican pizza. And apparently they don't serve it there anymore. I never really ate it myself, but Remington James decided to make a Mexican pizza recipe. I'm not gonna say no to Taco Bell, and I sure as hell am not gonna say no to a pizza. So today we are going to make his Mexican pizza recipe, and I'm going to tell you how full it gets me, how the flavor is, all that good stuff, so you guys know if you should make it or not. My name is Nick, or Exercise for Cheat Meals, and on my channel, I review other people's recipes and make some of my own. If you're into that kind of thing, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and I keep forgetting to do Remington's intro. I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah. Now with this being an anabolic meal from scratch, this had to be one of the easiest to make. We start by heating up our tortillas and getting them firm so they could hold our ingredients. Then we weigh out our ground beef, and it takes a minute to do this, so I was trying to do two at the same time, not a good idea, so I'm doing one at a time, flipping every minute or so. Ah, it's hot. So I like to add the ground beef in little tiny chunks right from the get-go and separate it myself because I find doing it with the spatula is just way too annoying and it seems like it's cooking way too long. So I break it up myself and then I let it cook. This takes a little while, but the great thing about that is I can get all the other ingredients prepped and ready while the ground beef is cooking. So we get our beans weighed out and then our cheese. And at this point, the ground beef is ready. So we add our seasoning, weigh out our green onions, Add the water to the seasoning and mix. The tortilla wasn't at the point where I wanted it, so I threw it on the burner for a minute and now it's perfect. So we spread all that beanie goodness all over that tortilla. And look at that ground beef. Doesn't it just look so damn juicy? It's definitely spatula looking good. We add our second tortilla, our enchilada sauce, our cheese, and then we top with our green onions and let's eat. Now, I don't know the last time I had one of these or if I've ever had one of these. However, it looks delicious. Completely covered in cheese, just how I like it. It is literally, I don't know, let's weigh it. I don't know how much the cutting board weighs, but this is about four pounds. So I'm guessing this is like three pounds minimum. And I do understand it's 1600 calories. So you can't eat the whole thing unless literally you haven't eaten anything all day or you're trying to make this your whole damn day worth of calories. However, split it with a friend, split it with three friends, do it however you want. But before you do that, let me make sure that it's good. So it's time to try it. I don't know if you can see this, the steam, it's beautiful. It's funny because when I eat it, it's just like the crunch wrap. When I eat it, it literally reminds me of Taco Bell. I haven't had the pizza in years and years and years, but when I bite into it, it feels like Taco Bell and it is freaking delicious. But I am biased towards Taco Bell. It's like the one fast food place that I actually still go to every so often. The meat's cooked perfectly. The cheese is melty. All the ingredients are fresh. I actually cut out my own pico de gallo because I didn't have any left at Jewel. So the pico de gallo literally was just made an hour, two hours ago. It's just missing one thing. It can't be a Taco Bell item without any fire sauce. I mean, come on. Yeah. Now I've already had one of these, or I've only had one of these, and I already feel it in my stomach. Kind of full. You know, wash down a little monster. Oh yeah, Remington, bro. By the looks of your intro, you're like Halo. Are you excited for the new Halo or what? I'm debating buying the new Xbox just to play Halo. Even though I have no time as it is, pretty dumb. But I digress. My mouth is a little on fire. I did put jalapenos in the pico de gallo and I just loaded that piece up with fire sauce. I'm telling you, this thing is like so, look at the cheese, look at the cheese, look at the cheese. Yes. What's great about recipes is you can add whatever you want. Greek yogurt tastes exactly like sour cream. So we're gonna add some of that. We're gonna add some fire sauce. And I'm about to be stuffed to the gullets after this piece but we're going to enjoy it together and that's going to be time for bed. It's everything you would want when going to Taco Bell, except way healthier. 
their old Mexican pizza when they still sold them was, I don't know, yay big, probably a third of this. Not nearly as heavy as voluminous, voluminous, voluminous. And it was 530 calories, 30 something grams of fat. No, 29 grams of fat, only 19 grams of protein. You multiply that by three, that's not even 60 grams of protein, which is about how many calories is in here. But it has 179 grams of protein. What? For expecting it to taste like a Taco Bell item and for it being a diet item, I have zero complaints. Fullness factor, 8.6 out of 10. Flavor, I'm gonna base it based on if I were going to Taco Bell, would I love it? It's a 10 on flavor, 10 on 10. Literally, if you would have blindfolded me and had me taste test this, I would have thought it was a Taco Bell item. It literally, when I put it in my mouth, had the taste buds hit, literally saliva coming out. Yes, Taco Bell. And for me, with the amount of calories I can eat, I could have two slices. So now I have another one meal prepped. For a lot of people, they could eat one slice, feel full. I could eat a lot and I feel pretty full. I probably ate like a pound and a half worth of food right there for whatever, 800 calories, 75 grams of protein. If you haven't joined the anabolic community, what are you doing? You get to eat the things you grew up loving. You get to eat them every day, including ice cream, that cookie dough ice cream, coming very soon. And you get to lose weight or maintain your weight and main gain while doing it. It's like, what are you waiting for? I'm gonna go rub my belly, put this thing away, and hit the sack. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, go check out Remington if you haven't already. He's been putting out straight bangers. I mean, you gotta check out the chicken review if you didn't see the chicken review. And until next time, I will see you in that next one. Do see.